Hello, there's a big pile on tonight. There's one in Brussels where all these uh, 13 of these European leaders are piling in on top of Hungary because Viktor Orban, the Prime Minister and the Parliament has introduced legislation to make sure that it's parents who decide the educational ethos for their children. They have misrepresented what is going on in Hungary with this legislation. And in Dublin, Sinn Féin, the former uh, Republican Party, now a European Unionist Party, and a government-funded NGO, Lekele, are having a protest outside a Catholic church in Ballyfermot in Dublin tonight. Why? Because they're demanding that, that the church put up a pride flag to make sure that Everyone understands who really runs the show in Ireland now. Of course, they wouldn't do it outside a mosque. And I'm old enough to remember the stories that Republicans once defended Clannard Church when it was being attacked uh, and trying to be burnt down by loyalists in Belfast, just as St Mary's Church in Craigan was protected by Republicans from uh, the British Army and the RUC. Isn't that a great turnaround that now Sinn Féin, anti-nationalist, anti-Republican party that it has become, is protesting against the Catholic Church that it must fall in line with their PC, LGBT, IQ- agenda. And what else is happening in Ireland? Oh, I see that LGBT, IQ- flags are... Pride flags are growing all around the country with a, the funding and help of political institutions of the state. You can't go anywhere in Ireland now without uh, LGBTIQ uh, flags uh, all around the place. And what is the problem? The problem with this LGBTIQ minus agenda is that it, by definition, only a man and a woman can have be a mother and a father and have a child together. By definition, two men cannot have a child together. Two lesbians cannot have a child together. Only a heterosexual man and woman can have a child, form a family, and take part in the whole process of education, bringing that child up, rearing that child with, with character and uh, with values that is not only good for the child, but also good for society. Having children is also good demographically because it gives the nation a future. And of course, Sinn Féin and all these LGBTIQ uh, NGOs, which are trying to dominate and bully those who do not fall into line are pushing this agenda. Now in Europe, Talking about demographics, we can see so many of the leaders of the EU are childless. So be that Rutte, the Dutch Prime Minister, Lovin, the Swedish Prime Minister, Merkel, Macron, Nicola Sturgeon in, in Scotland, and you have the Prime Minister or President of both Latvia, Lithuania and Romania are all childless. What does that say about the future of Europe? Well, look at the book by Douglas Murray. He calls the death of Europe, the strange suicide of Europe, he calls it, the demographic winter which is approaching. People, I believe, must stand up to this ideological bullying by these government-funded NGOs and political parties like People Before Profit and Sinn Féin with their far-left, loony agenda who wants to push this uh, down people's throats we can see it in the schools that they're trying to impose uh, education and values even in catholic and in protestant schools against the value of those schools and the parents we see there this week in in dublin uh, we see these educate together schools with the children going round with uh, LGBTIQ minus flags and uh, it's like it's like a scene you would see out of the communist uh, Chinese Communist Party get the children young impose this ideology 
and it's bad for them and it's bad for society. So the Irish Freedom Party, we are a pro-life party, we are a pro-natalist party, and when I say pro-natalist, I mean in favour of childbirth, of a man and a woman, mommy and daddy, having children, a family having children, and a nation having a future. So we will stand up for things like to stop, in legal terms, trying to stop parental alienation and allowing that fathers have access to see their children because it's good for the fathers and it's good for the children. So we will stand up for women's sports and women's spaces that men who self-identify as women will not be allowed to take part in women's sport. This should be reserved for a le level playing field that only biological females can take place in, in women's sport. It's only fair. So my message to those uh, bully boys outside the Ballyferma church tonight from Sinn Féin is you should get stuffed. Of course, what you're doing outside the Catholic Church, you would never do outside a mosque in Dublin, would you? No, you're far too PC for that. Even though the countries which you laud, Huawei guy uh, from Egypt, uh, you were uh, supporting him. His father is, of course, the chief imam in the mosque in Klonski. His Muslim Brotherhood would advocate throwing gays off buildings where they have power. I don't see you raise that very much in the public square. So I'm disgusted to see Sinn Féin and this Lekele crowd protesting outside the Catholic Church in Dublin, trying to bully boy and impose their LGBT IQ ideology on the Catholic Church and on the people of Dublin. As a nationalist party, the Irish Freedom Party will stand up for couples to have children and to give our country a future because of people or parties like Sinn Féin and People Before Profit and all these, and let's look at it. Uh, another childless leader is Tanis Leo Varakar. Uh, as I said, homosexuals cannot have children. Lesbians cannot have children. So we can't depend on them to ensure the continuation of the Irish nation because they can't have children. Of course, all this homosexual sex uh, is sterile, isn't it? They can't have children. So that's why we're in favour of pro-life, pro natalist party, of couples having children and the nation having a future. Join with us, look up our policies on irishfreedom.ie, follow us on Twitter and on Facebook, and let's build a better Ireland. Goro Magadza.